hey guys you're welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to make a wrap top and from a wrap top you can make a dress from it you only add whatever you want to do from the waistline okay and also for this top after the waistline you can continue with a circle skirt or a pleat any form of the pleat kiss pleat or knife pleat or box pleat or you can even continue with a gala skirt okay and if it's for the dress too trust me you can continue with any form of design you want but in this video i'm just going to show you the basics in a very simple way okay and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe like and share my videos with your loved ones okay and for the returning subscribers thank you for always coming back thank you so let's get to work so for this wrap top i'm going to make sure that this paper first is on fold as you can see because we're going to open it up later then bringing up the basic bodies pattern so we're just going to continue with it okay so the shoulder now trying to create the shoulders um the arm or cuff so whatever we have there divided by two then you come in by three quarter you will create the cuff neatly Okay, so after the cuff, go ahead and fix in our measurement. So the bust circumference divided by four. Mine is nine inches. Then you add the seam allowance, two inches seam allowance. Then we'll go to the waistline. Your waist circumference divided by four. Mine is 7.5. Then one inch for that allowance then two inches for seam allowance so we'll connect them that's the under bust so we're not going to use it for this tutorial then placing the dart that's distance between nipples divided by two so from the bust point to come down by one inch it together so for details about this please visit my basic bodies pattern tutorial so now since we are done with this side we'll go ahead and trace it to the other side Trace it out with a marker pen in order to make it visible. So, as you can see, the neckline too has been created. So, for the yeah. For the wrap, you can either take it to the extreme side, okay? So we'll mark like two inches for the belt because we're going to join them together by the belt. This is important. So it depends on how wide you want the belt to be. So I'm going to be using two inches because this side is just directly under the ammo. But we also want it somewhere and maybe in front it can be under the bust or just at the center it depends so this one is just be somewhere under the bust so i'm extending the that after the that just be like one inch okay or one and a half so it depends on your location just choose the location carefully where you want them to meet okay 
so for this one now if you choose if you prefer it to be here somewhere in the front maybe down the bust mark the points then you create the space for the belt too because we're going to create the belt ourselves and join it okay then for the um for the wrap i'm just extending the neckline by one inch okay because i don't want it to be too white or i don't want cleavage to be exposed okay so it depends on what you want so i'm going to connect it to yes as you can see where i want it to stop we're going to stop there because i'll be connecting inserting the belt down there so I trace it out with the pencil first. So in case of any adjustments, I can do it before using the marker. So that is it. So I made it curve. Okay, make this slanting so that it won't just be straight. They will cut this out. Yes, half inch below the waistline for joining allowance so when cutting the other side of the wrap on fabric please remember to add your 0.5 inch joining allowance so that is it this is the front pattern so we're going to be using two pieces of this because the two of them will cover the front pattern and when you are cutting make sure it's the right side to right side the left side to left side of the fabric okay so now to the back pattern so the bust uh, point line is drawn at the waistline so on the waistline you mark one edge first and connect it up connect it slightly to the to the neckline or to the shoulder line rather as you can see so this thing will help us reduce excessive folding or yes excess fabric at the back it's just going to give a smart looking back so then the shoulder slope the upper chest line so again for details about how to drop these basic bodies please Check out my video on how to uh, check out my videos on the basic bodies blog. I'll drop the link in the description box. Okay. Actually, there's nothing much we are doing with the back pattern. It's just a normal back pattern. The main work or the main job is with the front pattern. Please if you to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, like and share my videos with your loved ones. Okay. Then please put on the notification bell so that you can be notified each time I post new videos. So let's fix in our measurements. Okay, your bone circumference divided by four. And on the waistline too, inside our waist circumference divided by four. Then the two, seam, two inches in allowance. They will create the dart. Then on the waistline, you have 0 0.5 inch on both sides. Checking the measurement to make sure I will have a straight line there. Okay. So we're going to cut it out. So 
remember to add the joining allowance half inch joining allowance below and also at the center back please remember to add your joining allowance since there's no zip there so please add the joining allowance half inch so that is it for the back pattern and this back pattern is going to um, we're going to have two pieces for it so our patterns are ready set so thank you for watching please um, feel free to share your opinion in the comment section and just remember that these two pieces are going to be cut for food please it's very important then like and share my videos with your loved ones thank you bye